talk a little bit about what it takes to be that successful and, and how do you maintain that? It all changed for us. The, the game changer for us was in 97 when Tom Church came to the university as the athletic director. Before that, you know, we were known primarily for men's basketball. And uh, Tom believed that every student athlete that came to the University of Louisville should have the opportunity to be successful academically, uh, but also be successfully uh, successful, uh, have the opportunity to be successful athletically and to compete for national championships. So it's been a long building process. Uh, you know, football and baseball, uh, we made a huge commitment to baseball in 2003 with the building of a new stadium. Uh, we were playing at a, uh, uh, a football slash uh, minor league baseball stadium that wasn't on campus. It was not a good experience for the student athletes, it wasn't a good experience for the students. So that was the big step and then bringing Coach McDonald in in 2007. But we've worked hard with all of our athletic teams, both men's and women's. We've made a huge commitment to gender equity. And uh, so now, you know, 15 years after Tom's been there, you know, it's all just sort of, we've had great success, but it's just been one of those years that no other schools had athletically. Uh, and that's the success we've had this year. With the players you've talked with in, in the, the fan base that's coming to Omaha, what, what's the vibe been like since you've been here? Just incredible excitement. Uh, this is a great event, uh, and it's one of those super events where you know you can have a great time. You're going to be here a couple of days because of the double elimination, and uh, it's just uh, you know a, a sort of an electric atmosphere. I mean, around the ballpark, and I think they've done a good job here trying to maintain that. I mean, you, you see as much going on outside the ballpark as you yeah. see go, going on in the ballpark, and I think by uh, relocating the uh, stadium, uh, almost done a tremendous job in maintaining that that uh, environment and that energy and that excitement. Baseball is not a revenue sport at Louisville. Do you think it can become one? It'll never be a major revenue sport, uh, no. Uh, you know, in fact, we didn't have anyone going to baseball. When I started as president, we were playing at uh, Cardinal Stadium. Uh, I went to a couple of baseball games, and you're in a, a stadium that was converted for, for baseball and football, and so you had like 30,000 seats, and you might have eight or 900 people. And it just wasn't a good uh, environment, a good atmosphere. So we made the decision when we built the new stadium to locate it on what we knew at some point would be uh, the southwest corner of our campus. We thought it would rejuvenate that area of our community, and it's done so uh, with the shopping center and. Uh, and, and the way it's worked out, we're now contiguous to Churchill Downs. So it's a great uh, environment. We expanded the stadium this year, and it's a great experience uh, for the neighborhood. It's a great experience for our students. It's a great experience for our student athletes. So um, we've not even charged. Uh, you know, right. we will start uh, charging for admission going forward. Uh, we do pick up some donations and you know some concessions. But, uh, you know, baseball uh, is really one of those sports where you play so many games and you have night games, you have weekend games, and it's easier for fans to get to than many of the other uh, sporting events that mm -hmm. are more limited and more expensive and more high priced. So it's an integral part of our overall strategy to enhance the campus experience. Right. And I think we've seen that. As you uh, reflect on the move to the ACC, do you think that the commitment that you've made to non-revenue sports resonated very much with Absolutely. those people? Yeah. Uh, you know, 15 years ago, we didn't have that commitment. We didn't have some good football years. and But uh, our track program, uh, we didn't even have lacrosse, didn't have rowing for women. so. Uh, all those things uh, built the, uh, uh, the uh, credibility of our athletic program. And then uh, in addition to that, uh, we've talked about our academic trajectory. And I think it's those two things combined mm -hmm. that made us attractive to the ACC. The early betting was on UConn. And, and there were some in the press and media who said, well, UConn's going to go in. There were a lot of things we couldn't control and TV market being one of those. And so right. the theory that UConn brought a bigger TV market uh, was a big plus for them. But uh, I think when the presidents of the ACC look at the total package, academic uh, and athletic, uh, that the best fit was the University of Louisville.
uh, when the soccer stadium was announced, Tom George uh, alluded to the possibility of adding a, a men's sport or perhaps multiple sports. Can you update us on where that might stand and, and how still, soon that could happen? Yeah, well, we're still reviewing it. Um, you know, there's another year before we go in, but there are, uh, we, we started a women's lacrosse program. That's not a big program in the high schools uh, right. in Louisville. Most high schools don't have that, some of the parochial schools and so forth do. But uh, you're seeing a move uh, more and more to men's lacrosse. Bellarmine has started a program, mm -hmm. it's Division One. Um, you know, again, rolling is not a big program uh, in the Louisville area. So uh, as we move east, there are some uh, 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 sports programs that are not big in our area that we'll, we'll be looking at and uh, we'll uh, probably do some expansion over time. How would you assess the effect of all of the success across the board in athletics this year in terms of the quality of student you're attracting? Well, we've cut off enrollment for next year. And I can't attribute that to athletics, but I think it's a combination of things and certainly some of the publicity that we've received around athletics. But we say we don't want to be the biggest, we want to be the best. And so we limit our freshman class to 2850. Every year the freshman class gets better and better in terms of ACT scores and grade point averages. And so uh, right now our applications and admissions are up 11%. And uh, so I think part of that is our past success academically, but certainly it doesn't hurt uh, to be on the front page of the newspaper uh, with football, basketball, women's ba uh, basketball, baseball. Uh, and we try to use these events uh, to help us with student recruiting, uh, to help us with alumni development, with uh, fundraising. <clears throat> this will be, we've already hit this year, and the year's not over, this is the largest amount of money that we've ever raised in one single year at the University of Louisville. How much of that's tied to athletics? Again, I don't know. There's been a lot of research done on the impact of athletics on academic. You know, it's kind of all over the place, but uh, we work hard at using athletics as a window through which people see the University of Louisville and that we talk about the University of Louisville academically as well as athletically. So I think there's some impact, but it's hard to quantify. That's a very common strategy in, in across the country in, in athletics, and we've seen a lot of the downside of, of tying so much attention to athletics and scandals and various things. What, what is your view? Do you think the climate is changing at all nationally? or? No, I think uh, it's been an embarrassment for uh, many colleges. I mean, when you look at uh, uh, what's happened and to some great academic schools, and you look at Penn State and Ohio State, and you look at what's going on. It's, I think it's hurt. I think it's hurt. Uh, I think it's hurt higher education. It's put more pressure on higher education at a time when funding is tough. And I think it's given a lot of policymakers an excuse not to fund higher education. To be honest with mm -hmm. you, uh, we have five criteria by which we evaluate our athletic program. Uh, the athletic director reports directly to me. He is a vice president. He's part of our cabinet. But uh, number one is the integrity of the program, play by the rules. We've had no major uh, violations in over 15 years. Uh, number two is the academic success of the student athlete. Three of our teams, as you know, were highlighted for being in the top 10 on the academic performance rate in the country. We had six teams with perfect scores on the academic performance rate. Our kids are graduating and, and we're providing them the academic support they need. Our third criteria is uh, financial integrity. Our fourth criteria uh, is commitment to gender equity. And our fifth criteria is success on the field. And that's what Tom's held accountable for. And uh, so uh, we're very proud of our athletic program. Bear Bryant used to say that it's hard to rally around a math class. and. I think the, the idea that, that uh, college athletics is, is maybe out of whack proportionally at, in many campuses is a concern. Is it a concern for you with as much, even as much success as you have that that's how people see the university and yeah. not as uh, an academic institution? Yeah, it, and when I go and visit with alumni or donors, I don't talk about uh, athletics. I talk about academics. Mm -hmm. We're an academic institution first and foremost. But the reality is, is uh, athletics is what it is. The, there is a marketplace that values things, and they value coaches' salary, coaches, and uh, the salaries we pay uh, coaches greater than they do 
may happen to English teachers. Do I think that's right? No, but that's the way it is. And we can uh, rail against it. We can say it's not right, but that's the way it is. So what we want to do is take, that, take athletics and use athletics to help us uh, build the university mm -hmm. and fundraising with our alumni uh, to build it academically. And, um, you know, and, and I think we're doing a, a pretty good job of that. Again, on a national perspective, do you have any personal uh, goals to, to maybe uh, push through the NCAA or encourage the NCAA to adopt? No, I, uh, by and large, have kind of stayed away from being overly engaged with the NCAA. We, I want to focus my attention on what we're doing at the University of Louisville and moving it forward. Uh, I have served on some uh, NCAA committees, but I've not gotten involved extensively with NCAA leadership. Uh, we'll see how it plays out with the ACC. Um, when we first came into the Big East, uh, we were the new kid. We weren't really engaged or had the opportunity to be engaged with the uh, Big East from a governance perspective. I think the Big East made some horrible mistakes by not extending their uh, TV contract uh, earlier. Um, and I think that that led to the demise. We'll wait and see how it plays out with the ACC. And, mm -hmm. uh, but my focus is moving the University of Louisville forward. And, um, and, and so that's how I allocate my time. Any reflections on the resignation of Gordon Gee? No, uh, you know, I've known Gordon a long time, and Gordon is Gordon. And, uh, you know, this wasn't the first time that he had tried to make jokes about athletics. Um, it's part of his nature. He, you know, he doesn't kid around about English departments or math departments. It's always been athletics. The jokes have never worked out very well, and he's had to apologize before. Uh, he's resigned, so no, I, you know, I. There were people in our community that were very offended, and, and I think they should have been offended because we're on such a great positive trajectory. It was an unfair shot to the University of Louisville. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, it's a soccer uh, groundbreaking. When I was asked about it, I didn't even know about it. I wasn't troubled by it. It was Gordon being Gordon. Have you heard from him personally? Yes. Okay. Well, I assume an apology? Yes. Do you accept his apology? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay.